Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jessica and I'm a part-time reseller on the Poshmark, Mercari, and Vinted app. And I make videos on YouTube in regards to how you can increase your sales. And today's video is a highly requested video on how to find stock photos. Now before I get into this video, I do want to say in the beginning that this is kind of what I feel like is a controversial topic about using stock images. Now specifically for Poshmark and Mercari actually and Vinted, you're not supposed to use stock photos. And I guess the reason for that is because you don't have the rights to that photo. Um, I guess it's kind of like copywriting someone else's photo. Um, however, it is highly, it is used very often on Poshmark to better present how the item is worn on a model or a person. Um, and it just shows the buyer exactly in a very professional photo how the garment is going to fit, whether it's a hat, a shoe, a shirt, a dress, jewelry, anything. There's a lot of stock photos out there. Now, on Mercari, they will take down your listing. I've had this happen to me many times. They will take down your listing if you have a stock photo in your listing. So just be prepared for that. They don't give you a warning. They just completely take it down and they let you know, hey, we took down your listing. So all that hard work that goes into listing, um, they can remove it in a second. Now, Vinted, um, I used to sell on Vinted a lot, then I stopped selling on Vinted. Now I just started again just to see if anything will sell. And I put a stock photo on there and they took it down immediately. So I suggest do not post any listings with a stock photo on Mercari or Vinted because they will take it down. Um, now on Poshmark, going back to Poshmark, there are a ton there's thousands of sellers on Poshmark that are using stock photos I am one of them now I know a lot of people are against it because it's a going against the Poshmark rules and of course I don't want to go against Poshmark rules however the reason why I use stock photos and I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of reasons one is because the garment will not fit me if it's a large or an extra large or I sell plus sizes from Torrid if it's a 2XL, I cannot fit in those garments and it will not look right on me when I'm trying to present it to the buyer. So I try to find stock photos that make the image of the garment look exactly how it would on that person that's trying to buy it. So that's one of the reasons why I use stock photos. Second, if my photo that I'm taking on my iPhone is not coming out good at all, it's too dark, it won't brighten enough, um, or if it's like a dress and it has like, um, like wide arm um, sleeves, arms, sleeves, if it has wide sleeves and I can't get a good photo of it, then I'm going to look for a stock photo because I want the buyer to be able to see how beautiful this garment is. And that's something that I run into a lot of because I don't have a mannequin. So unless I can wear it, like for example, this shirt is cloth and stone and it's in my closet right now. Um, I can fit in this. It's a size small. It fits me perfectly. I love it. However, like I said, there are garments in my closet that do not fit. Fit. And I want the buyer to be able to see how great and amazing and the details of the garment and everything are from a stock photo, whether it's modeled or it's just a professional photo, that way they can see how great that item is and all the details in it. Now, if you go into my closet, which I'm going to link my closet link down below as well as my closet 
my Poshmark closet name, you will see that I have a mix of stock photos and my own images. If I take a great image of my garments, I typically just sell clothes. If I take a great picture, I will not use a stock photo. What, what's the point? I already have my own great photo. But if I cannot take a good photo, and like I said, if it's too dark, if it's it just doesn't look right, or it, I don't have a big enough space or something, I want to use a stock photo. Um, again, that might be something that people, I don't know if you're angry about that or, or whatever, but I've had so many people ask me, how do you find stock photo images? And I just wanted to, for this long five minute conversation about this, I just wanted to tell you guys the reason why I do it. I do not always do it for every single garment, but those are the reasons why I do when I do. So let's get into the most important part of this video on how do I find these stock photos. Now, I have a couple of items here that are new with tags and then one item that is not new with tags. Okay, we are going to look up this Free People top. Um, it's like a Pilgrim, super cute top. Um, and it is the color Mulberry. It's actually in my closet right now for a really, really good price. It's new with tags. So in order to find this stock photo, you have to look at the tag that is on the item. And at the very top, it says there's an O, O, B, and then the number right next to it. We are going to type in free people and then the O, B, which is the batch number, um, O, B, 872332. Okay, so we're going to type in free people, O, B, 872332 enter. Now, all of these images are going to come up. Some might not be the exact same color of what my item is. However, I do see the exact same color of what my item is. Um, again, I want to show you guys. It is this Mulberry um, Super Cute Free People Tap. Now we're going to scroll down. I see this image here, this one here. This looks like a stock photo. Um, if you scroll over, there might be some more. Now I'm going to scroll down, see if I can see some more images. So I definitely see it in a couple different places. I definitely want to um, show off how cute this top is. Um, and then look, when you click on one of the items, I found this a lot, when you click on one item, such as this one, or one stock photo, I should say, some other ones pop up as well. So down here, you'll see related images. Now I have another stock photo. I love this one. She, it's great because it shows the shirt with a pair of pants. Um, it, sh it show offs the sleeves and that was the most important thing that I was trying to show off of how cute and like that pilgrim style sleeve this is. So she's, she's representing that very well in this photo. Now the third photo here, this is the one that I have in my Poshmark closet. Um, and I just think it looks so cute with that black leather skirt. It looks just like so, um, I don't know, so like rock and chic. I love it. So anyways, that's the one that I chose for my personal listing. Um, however, there's some other options, this girl as well. Um, so there's definitely like other, it's, there might not just be one stock photo that you can choose from. Um, some people also do like a collage of them. Um, but yeah, so this one is like, seems like it's a little bit darker, but it's the same style that I have. Um, and then all this is just not relevant. So yeah, that's basically how I found my stock photo for this exact item. I went to this exact page. Um, I clicked on this exact girl and then I found this stock image right here from what I actually used in my listing. Okay, so that was number one. We have um, three, three more to go. So this one is actually, I'm gonna do new with tags first. So here is another um, free people, we the free by free people. This is like literally the cutest dress ever. Um, I cannot believe this is still sitting in my closet. I think it'll sell really soon because spring's here, um, but it is this coral lace, so cute guys. It has an open back, just 
freaking adorable. I love it. Um, and it is new with tags. So let me find the tag. Here it is. Um, okay, this is a free people. And I'm sorry, it is, it's the brand Intimately by Free People, not We The Free. I made a mistake. So up here at the top, uh, we see that OB again, right here. Excuse my nails, I need to get them done. Um, so we see the OB number there, right there. So we are going to type that in to Google again. So we're going to keep the Free People and the OB and we are going to type in 518214. And I'm going to type in dress. And look at all these different ones that came up. So we have some purple, we have some blues, we have some reds. Um, and oh, there you go. There's mine right there. And the other thing that I really liked about finding the stock photo was on on this tag it doesn't tell me the name of the type of item it is however i find a lot of times that when i'm looking up a stock photo the stock photo will actually tell me the exact name of the item so for example you see here free people and then it's a daydream lace mini dress so those are keywords that I want to put into my Poshmark listing. Um, and I thought that was so helpful. So just a side note for you guys, if you are trying to find stock images and you come across one, pay attention to what the name is um, in that stock photo because it might be helpful for you guys to post into your own listing. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just sharing information. So um, definitely keep an eye on that. Okay, so here is the front of this exact same dress that I have right here. I think she represents that so well where I could not do that because I don't have a mannequin and it just doesn't look the same on my closet door. Um, then here's another one that I think looks really great. Um, and then this, oh, I love this. It shows the back because that's a feature that you really want to, um, that you really want to, show off for the item because it does have something special about it. It's a complete open back where if I'm hanging it on my, um, my wall or my door or whatever, you can't really see how amazing that back open back looks, how beautiful it looks just from hanging where on this stock photo, it looks amazing in my, in my opinion. So that is how I found this one. Um, I also found some down here. There's just a lot of them on for, especially for free people. I feel like I can always find a stock photo for free people. And definitely don't think that you can find stock photos for every single item. There's a lot of items that just simply do not have a stock photo. They might be way out of date, um, you know, in other words, like not a relevant style to right now. So maybe it just doesn't have a current photo. Um, and I just don't suggest taking like hours to try and find a photo. So some things are easier to find than others. Okay, on to an item that is not new with tags. Um, this is an anthropology brand. It's Field Flower. Uh, this was, all of these were in some of my hauls. Um, it's so cute. It's this like button up um, cardigan with it looks like a t-shirt inside um, and it comes down the side as well. Okay, so this item is not new with tags. So where do I find the numbers? What numbers do I use? So we are going to go to the tag, which is right here on the inside of the garment. And we're going to flip to this very bottom where it says R3786, which is right down here underneath this button. I don't know if this is gonna focus for me, but it's at the very, bo uh, very bottom and it says R3786 at the very bottom here. And there's, there's a label on this side and then a label on this side. R3786. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over to Google and I'm going to type in its field 
flower. You guys can see that I've already tried it. <laughs> no shame in that. I already have it listed in my closet, so I've already looked it up before. Um, R3786. R3786. And hit enter. And it comes right up. Now you're also going to notice that some random stuff comes up as well. That is all part of the search for a stock photo. You are going to find the most random stuff. I mean, here's newspaper articles about, I don't even know, box jeans expressed, um, homo there's just random stuff in in other words it's super random has nothing to do with anthropology at all so over here I already see the cardigan that um, I was trying to find um, and then this says anthropology sweater field and flower shirting cardigan this is a perfect stock photo it shows the front it shows the back a model is wearing it so my buyer can see exactly how it looks like this will fit me however I think she does it way better than I could um, so that is the stock photo that I have in my in my closet currently so that is how you find um, another way to find a stock photo image now this is the last item that I have this is something that I just picked up the other day um, I spent two hours and I only found one item love when that happens <laughs> so this is a silence plus noise which i learned is an anthropology brand um it is a size extra small and um honestly this looks like a beach cover-up i'm pretty sure it is a beach cover-up because this is an extra small and um i think this is pretty big for an extra small my opinion but i think it's pretty big um and then this v-neck goes way down to like my mid abdominal area um so the girls would definitely be out <laughs> and i don't think that's how you're supposed to wear it so i definitely want to st find a stock photo image for this one because i will not be modeling this in a bikini on <laughs> on uh, my poshmark channel i mean my poshmark uh closet so i found the tag inside the garment there is numbers and a bunch of words on both sides. But the, the side, the part that you want to look at is um, the batch. This one has a batch number. So always look for batch number, which starts with OB. So here you guys are going to see at the very bottom right here, it says batch number um, OB469192. So I'm going to go over to Google and again, this is what the garment looks like. So we are going to go over to Google and type in silence plus noise O B four, six, nine, one, nine, two enter. Now, this is something I wanted to show you guys because it's a little bit different. So let's say I'm like just looking through blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, this has nothing to do with silence plus noise for anthropology, not this. Um, still don't see anything, still don't see anything. Okay, now I'm going to use a keyword that might help me. I'm going to type in white top and you guys can see I already searched it. Okay, white top, enter, bam first photo right here this girl is wearing this exact shirt that I have in my Poshmark closet right here so it says silence plus noise tops um, plunge deep V tunic so this girl actually is not wearing a bathing suit um, so I guess you can wear like a bralette or something but I personally think that's too low for me <laughs> um, I guess maybe I'm a little modest but um, I just personally wouldn't model that so I'm so glad that I was able to find a perfect stock photo she is wearing it flawlessly it looks perfect if I was hanging this up I would not be able to show off how great this looks so I'm so glad I was able to find a stock photo image then this second one right here as well shows the back of her um, this one down here is a closer up, so I'll definitely use this photo 
and this photo. So now I have a perfect stock image on exactly how this item will look when someone tries it on and the buyer is able to see exactly how it will fit and how it's modeled. Um, and then if you scroll down, you see a bunch of stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with my shirt. It's a bunch of other clothing, some things that are not even white, um, some jackets, some tank tops, some sweaters, and then random stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys that sometimes you might not find a stock photo image, but it's important to put in keywords. If I didn't type in white top, this would never come up. And actually when I was first searching for it before I did this video, cause I just wanted to make sure I could find everything for you guys. When I first searched for it, I didn't find anything. I was like, okay, well I'll just show them how sometimes you can't find an image. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to type in white top. I typed in white top and look what I found. The very first image is this girl with my top on. So sometimes it's important to put in keywords cause that might help you guys. It like basically narrows down the search. Um, however, I do want to say that sometimes you cannot find a stock photo image. It's just, it's not there. You just can't find it. So I think that it's just, it's really a preference if you guys want to use them or not. Um, I just had a lot of people ask me, how do I find mine? There's some sellers on Poshmark that I go into their closet and it's literally just stock photo images. That's all. That's it. It's just stock photo images. You're just shopping as if you're shopping from like an online retailer like Urban Outfitters or Anthropology. It's just stock photo images where some people's closets, it's a mix, which is mine. It's a mix. So I have my own images and then I have stock photo images. And then some people have closets where there's not one stock photo image. So I think it's just your preference on what you choose. I personally just like using stock photo images if it shows off the garment better than I personally can. Um, and, th and that's really why I use it. So I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you learned something new from it. Um, I showed you guys exactly what I do and how I search for them um, and told you guys why I use it. So um, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. I know you hear this on every single person's channel, but it really does help us out to see what you guys are interested in seeing because we don't want to make content that you guys don't want to watch. So please feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new or if you like this com like this kind of content. Um, hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. And definitely drop a comment in my comment section below on what kind of videos you guys would like to see. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye guys. Thank you.